What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a piece of gear that I actually didn't know I even needed until I got it. Uh, you know, I, I take a bag to work every day. I use a messenger bag. I use a backpack bag. Um, loaded out with all kinds of stuff. Laptops, iPads, camera gear. I mean, pens, markers, you name it. It's packed in the bag. You know, your wallet, all your keys, anything you can think of. Our everyday carry bags for work or on the go are pretty, they're pretty big. They're pretty jam-packed, at least in my case anyway. My EDC is is not short of anything in the bag. It has everything in there that I need. First aid stuff. I mean, you name it. It's just packed with stuff. So when you run into the store, you got to run out and do a quick errand. You don't want to be carrying that big EDC bag with all that stuff in it. You just don't need it. So good people over at TomTalk sent me this bag over, which I've seen a couple other videos on, and I was intrigued on it. I says, you know what? This is I do need a smaller bag for on the go, just to throw, not to deck it out, just to throw your everyday items in and go. So I got this bag. I've been using it. It's awesome. I do like it. And I, again, I didn't know I actually needed this bag until I got it and used it in these scenarios. You know, you're in shorts. It's summertime. You need to run to the store. You want to take your, your wallet, your keys, and a couple of things. You throw it in this bag and you go. You don't need to take your whole EDC bag with you. So it's, it's pretty good. It's good in that aspect where you don't need to take your EDC bag. You take just the essentials, throw it in this bag. When you don't have pockets wearing shorts, what have you, and you go. So we're going to jump down on the bench. We're going to take a look at this thing. I'm going to show you guys how it carries, what you can fit in it, and just my thoughts overall in general on it. So let's take a look. Okay, so here it is, the TomTok H02, done in this two-tone green color. I really like this color. It's got a Cordura fabric, YKK zippers. You have uh, TomTok's logo, heat pressed on the front. I'm not sh uh, sure how that'll hold up, but so far, so good for mine. It's been fine. I've been throwing this bag around the car and taking it on various day trips. On each side, you have uh, this ballistic nylon. You can put a carabiner here or carry it this way. You lash it to something else if you had to. So those are a nice little feature. The strap on it is also a nice adjustable ballistic nylon. It's sewn in on this side. And then on this side, you have the quick release buckle. And again, I think if anything happened to this, I think Tom Talk would take care of it. But I've had buckles like this. There's no issues with it. So on the back side, you got the compartment back here, which I usually run my wallet. I'll keep my personal things, keys, wallet in here. So when I'm carrying this, it's close to my body, which when we hop out and I show you guys how this carries, the two methods of carry, you'll see uh, this is why I like keeping my wallet there. Um, the front, the front part has a little key lanyard in here, which is nice. It's on a piece of ballistic nylon. You can put your keys in here in the front, but again, I don't put my keys in the front. I'll usually throw my phone in the front. Here's the main compartment back here, big storage. And then in front, you got two mesh pockets here that you can put various items in here, AirPods, whatever, however you want to load it out. And then in the front, another big compartment here. Also, if you guys got kids, um, this fits a Nintendo Switch. I have the OLED Nintendo Switch, the new one, and uh, that fits in here, as you'll see. So no issues there. So if you're just taking a day trip or something or you want to kill time somewhere, you got to go to the DMV, sit somewhere, you take your uh, Switch, throw it in here your various items you'll need just for a quick little trip. And this is a great bag for that. So again, plenty of storage. It also holds a firearm. I carry most of my firearms will fit in here. Uh, I haven't had an issue. I mean, I don't think I'd carry a full size 1911 in there, but anything barring that, uh, mid-size compact, subcompacts, they all fit in here. I didn't want to bring down a bunch of different guns to show you, but they do fit in here. I've, I've had my uh, EDC in here. So no issue, issues with that. We'll carry a firearm nicely. But we're going to hop out now. I'm going to show you guys the two methods of carry on body and how this bag carries. Okay, so this is what it looks like on if you want to carry this in front of you. I particularly don't like this method of carry because the zippers are on this side. So when you open it, your stuff could spill out. So again, if you were to open the main compartment, I mean, it's okay. You can get access to it. I don't think anything is going to spill out, but it's possible it could. You know, If you have something in there that's you know, big or stuff piled in there, it could spill out. So I don't particularly like this method of carry. I like carrying it on the back side, which I'll show you right now. Take this off. I like carrying it in this configuration where just the strap is across and then the sling is on the back side. So then if I do want to access my gear, I can just pull it in front of me. Now this is level. So I can open this up, get what I need to get. I can see it better. Open the main compartment. Again, nothing's going to spill out now because no matter how you have it packed, it's level. So this is the way I prefer to carry it. And you also have the, uh, if you had to get it off in a hurry, you have this quick release, so you can take it off that way as well. 
You could also wear this as a fanny style if you wanted to, but I think this way for me, just swivel it back around to the other side and it's just like a crossbody. Okay, so that was a look at the HO2 Tom Tox sling bag. That's how it carries on body. Those are the two methods. Again, I like carrying the one where it's slung across my back. I just prefer that method to carry over the front because when it's time to get in the bag and I pull it to the front, as you guys saw, it's horizontal and nothing falls out. I just prefer that method to carry. So that's it, guys. Uh, quick little look. We're going to hop out for some final thoughts. All right, so that was just a quick look at the Tom Tox sling bag. Let me know in the comments down below if this would work in your system. All right, we're going to sign off from here, guys. Got a lot more videos coming up, so stay tuned to the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next one.